question that I want to ask you, would you advise an African who has been living in Africa all his life or her life to travel to, to the West to, to seek for greener pastures, to make money? You know, would you, would you advise? For me, it's easy. I always said, what is, your, what is it about life you want? If it, it depends on age. Age is a factor. Okay. If you are younger, fine. But after a certain age, uh, you, I, I don't want you to reconsider that decision. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you are young, young, I'm not going to put a, a time frame. But if you, if you know, you think you are still young. Yeah, you can. I mean, it's, it's not bad. And I mean, let's let's not. It's nice, but I think home is also beautiful as well. But it depends on what you want out of life. Okay. I mean, okay. find out what your why is, right? I mean, okay. that decision. Yeah. That's it. I love the scorchy sun more than the cold here. One thing that I love about Canada is the transportation system. Transportation system. When I came, I don't have a car. And uh, so anytime I have to go out, I needed to use uh, public transport. Here, I think, because I'm in Calgary, they call it Calgary Transport. And there's a bus stop with a specific number and every bus stop with that specific number has a specific bus so if you have to go to anywhere in the city there are other bus stops with the same number so assuming we have bus number 124 the bus knows where it is going to so the moment it begins from its um, um, departure, it will go through a lot of points that has um, the inscription of bus station 124. Because it will pass there and pick anybody who is going to a certain final destination who must pick a 124 car. To me, it's, a, it's an easy way and uh, I thought I was going to get missing the first time when my friend told me that Echo come to where I am, pick bus eight, pick bus seven. I was like, damn, man, I can't do this. And other interesting thing is there is an app where you can buy your ticket. So when you get to the bus, uh, you scan um, the barcode from the ticket that you bought from the app, which is so easy. And uh, it makes it very much okay. One thing that I've also realized is Canada is a place that you need to have internet all the time on your phone. There are instances where I got stuck somewhere because I didn't have internet on my phone and I needed to buy tickets for my transit. So I went to the bus and I told the driver, hey, you know what, whilst I was waiting, my ticket got expired. So he was like, just come in, come in, come in. That was so nice of him. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers. Nice one. Yeah. Nice one. This is Canada. We're trying it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you call this? The chicken wings. It's spicy. Wings. It's called suicide. Suicide. It's supposed to be the spiciest. Spiciest um, chicken, but last week, it's not like anything. Bro. Yeah, the thing is spicy, but it's not. It's not <laughs> but it comes from Suzanne. Suzanne, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna try this one. Right? Absolutely, but uh, it's straight. <laughs> so we're having fun, we're having a blast, we're having fun. So oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, let's go then. Yeah, man. Nice one. Enjoy so how one. how do we do it? So you have you have like a ranch dip. Mm -hmm. I just take your you just take the wing. Okay. You can dip it in the ranch. And that's it. Okay. Okay, yeah, we are this way, okay. I mean I think it's about happiness is about uh, it's about you, right? Yeah. You make every place home, right? So yeah. it's and I think it's all very inside all mindset. It's a beautiful place if you ask me. It's cool down. It depends on what you want in life, right? Mm -hmm. What your what, what what your goals are. But I think it's, it's Canada is a very calm, peaceful place. Mm -hmm. Very livable if you ask me. Yeah. The only thing for me, I miss so much largely is um, I miss home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like everybody, every every African misses home. I miss, no, 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 like 
There's so much shit you can do, what we can do here. Yeah. yeah but I'm going to sit down and come back. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's what's up. Not for you, but... Yeah, yeah straight. Yeah, yeah but it's straight. so much. But it's beautiful. It's, for me, one biggest thing for me is if it's about... You want to raise a family, it's it's one of the best places you can ever raise a family. It's yeah. so calm, it's so... It's, Turn left on it's a peaceful place. Mm-hmm. And education for kids, it's solid. Like, typically here, public education for kids from almost from... Like let's say grade one to almost like twelve. Okay. Almost free. Almost free. free. Yeah. So you basically start paying like when they go to university. But and as long as even you're like a citizen or a permanent resident, whatever you pay, it's not it's it's, it's not it's not it's not overly over the top, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Six hundred meters. Turn left on Dan. Yeah. You know, you know the shit I miss back home. Yeah. Like, the <laughs> yeah. Find Kenge by the roadside. Yeah. The kebab, the suya. Fuck you, but that shit like that, you know. I'm sorry, my language, but yeah, that's okay. I mean, yeah, we just telling you, like, <laughs> that kind of local culinary life, like, kind, of, right. kind of food we take for granted. Right. I always tell myself, anytime I come back to Ghana, it's not about it's not it's not about going to any fancy restaurant. I don't want to know. Mm-hmm. I want to go to the local joints. Yeah. It's two I don't want you to come fancy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's that's that's the kind of thing you miss. Like look at here right now. Look at the streets, right? Like you don't see all the time. That's four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, it's human beings. Yeah, that's the shit that makes you like like what a human beings. All you see cars, houses, right? Yeah. You know, you miss the noise, the somebody yeah. outside. Yeah. Those little, little things. Okay. One other thing that I saw that was also a challenge to me was when you enter a bus and then you have these younger brothers and sisters chit chatting and making noise. Uh, here in Canada, I hear there's this uh, opinion do what you want and let me do what I want. Don't come into my space. That is cool, but as an African coming from um, Ghana and knowing how we respect our elders and the you know grown-ups, you wouldn't enter a bus even if you are friends. You wouldn't enter a bus and be making noise and laughing and you know bouncing ball and all that. It was like something new to me. So at a point, I was just staring at one of uh, the kids making excessive noise. I was like. Let me just be in my lane. Yeah. So, I mean, per the advice that I was told, just be in your lane. Don't be talking too much. Uh, if that is what he wants to do, the bus is not yours. It's a public bus. It's a public space. They do whatever they want to do. So that was another thing that I also realized here. And then, depending on the area that you live, you might not see a lot of people around. So I am here right now at the playground and I have only seen cars passing by and I've only seen one guy there and then there were a couple just walking their dog that is another thing that I've seen I think Canadians love dogs so much um, at some point you, you 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 find the area with a lot of people walking their dogs that is something that is also new to me you know Africans don't walk dogs Mm, the way the way the way we 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 um we deal with dogs is different you know we look at them as even though they also look at it as a, a source of security but here there is more of love there is more of affection that is awesome you know kind of like cool so basically this is what i've realized and i've also realized there's not enough okay it's not about enough but i don't see a lot of people holding money physical money because i went to the shop walmart to buy i've been going to the market i've been going to the small shops you know and then you only buy with you see a lot of people buying with um credit card yes so i never witnessed i never saw the currency until maybe my last days uh, that I was getting ready to leave and I had to, I, I just chanced on, I think 50 Canadian dollar. That was pretty nice. Yeah, I, I mean, took a video of it. Yeah, I'll just show you in this video. So basically, 
my experience in Canada has been good. Uh, I don't have any regrets. Um, the, the question has been, some of my friends has been like, Echo, stay. Echo, stay. Find work. Echo, stay. But uh, I have a different mentality to why I came here. A different uh, project That's, that brought me here. So uh, I'm not going to disappoint anybody, but I don't think I want to stay now. Just going to go back to my Ghana, uh, teach my kids, and then probably come back again and visit. I would love to visit more than to maybe come and stay. But whatever happens, we might have a change of mind because, uh, like I said, Canada is nice. I mean, when I came so far, I think it's a place that I can live, yeah, a place that I can stay, I can really have a good time here. So thank you very much for checking out my YouTube channel. If you're Canadian and watching this and you have any, any similarities or contrast to what I was saying, you might as well put it up as a comment. Just let's share. This is my opinion on how I see Canada. Thank you very much for checking me out. Peace.